Welcome to Sunday School. We are glad you are here. We can't be together at church. So we are glad you are joining us for Sunday School at home. So come on in. And find a comfortable seat to hear the parable of the Good Samaritan. Good morning. Welcome to ELPC Church School Time. We're happy to have you here with us today, whether you are two or five or 75, it's always good to be together as the family of God. The Lord be with you and also with you. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. When we sing these words, we know that it's time to hear our story of God. So get yourself comfortable and get ready to hear the story of the Good Samaritan. I wonder if this is a parable. This is gold and parables are very precious like gold. And also this looks a little bit like a present and parables are like presents because they have been given to us. We can't take them or steal them. They are already ours. There's another reason this might be a parable. It has a lid on it. And sometimes parables seem to have lids on them. But then when you open it up, there's something very precious inside. I know. Let's look inside and see if there's something that will help us in finding out whether this is a parable. I wonder what this is. It's dark, it's pretty rough when, when I touch it. It's kind of rough against my fingers. I wonder what that is. Let's see if there's something else. This is also very rough on my fingers. Let's see, maybe I'll put one part here and Another part down here. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. I think there's something else in my box. Oh, these are very dark. Hmm. I wonder what those could be. And there are these. Once there was someone who said such amazing things and who did such amazing things that people began to follow him. And a lawyer asked him one day, what is the most important law? And he said to him, you know what the important law is. And the lawyer said, yes, we are to love God and to love our neighbor. But who is our neighbor? So he told a parable. Once, 
there was a traveler who was going from Jerusalem down to Jericho. And as he traveled down the road, robbers came out and they attacked him and they hurt him and they left him by the side of the road half dead. Now there was a great priest from the temple in Jerusalem who was going down the road. And when the priest saw the traveler, he passed by the other way and continued down the road to Jericho. There was also a Levite, a person who works in the temple and he worked in the temple in Jerusalem, and he also was going down the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. And when he passed by the injured man, he did the same thing. He turned his back, and he passed by him, and just continued on his way down to Jericho. But then there was a Samaritan who was not even from the same country as the traveler. And as he traveled down the road, he saw the traveler laying by the side of the road. And he took compassion on him. And he went to him. And he put medicine on his cuts, and he put him on his donkey, and he carried him all the way down the road. Then the Samaritan took the traveler to an inn, and he said to the owner of the inn, let him stay as long as he needs to stay until he heals and gets better, and I will pay for everything. And the innkeeper agreed. And the Samaritan stayed all night with the traveler, and he cared for him, and healed his wounds, and wrapped them in bandages. Now I wonder, who was the neighbor to this person? priest, the Levite, or the Samaritan. I wonder if this traveler had a, has a name. I wonder to be a good neighbor. I wonder if the robbers ever had someone be a good neighbor to them. I wonder how we can be good neighbors to the people around us. Sometimes a neighbor is not the person who lives next door to you. I wonder who our neighbors really might be. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us as we hear the word of God. The story that we heard today about the Good Samaritan can be found in the book of Luke. That's one of the Gospels in the New Testament. This is chapter 10. 
On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law, Jesus replied. How do you read it? The man answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But the man wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho where when he fell into the hands of robbers. They stripped away his clothes, beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road. And when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, he passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came to where the man was. And when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, took him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Now Jesus asked, which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? The expert in the law replied to him, the one who had mercy on him. And Jesus told him, go and do likewise. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now it's time to get ready to come to God in prayer. We can give God thanksgiving and praise for things that we're thankful for. Sometimes there are things that we're worried about, that we're concerned about. And we can also bring all of those petitions to God because God hears us all of the time. He is listening. God hears us when we speak out loud. God hears us when we are silent. One of my favorite times to pray is the first thing in the morning before I even get out of bed and I wake up and the house is very quiet. And before I start thinking of all the things I need to do that day, I take time to talk to God and I do it silently, but God still hears me. And I talk about all of the things that I'm grateful for. I think about people that I'm worried about who might be sick. And I ask God's blessings and peace upon them. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Let's pray together. Thank you, God, for the gift of this day. Thank you for the gift of one another, for our families at home and for our church family. We thank you for the words of your Bible and the lessons that we can learn. Help us to remember today to ask ourselves the question, who is our neighbor and what does it mean to be a good neighbor? Help us remember, Lord, that there are simple things that we can do to be a good neighbor, whether it's baking someone a loaf of bread or sending them a card or just calling them on the phone to say hi. Help us remember God also to have extend grace to people who might be sad or might be kind of crabby. Maybe they have not had anyone be a good neighbor to them. Show us, Lord, your way to live. In Jesus' name, we pray all these things. Amen. And now, the light of Christ that was in one place can be in many places, all at the same time. I hope you find and think about some ways that you can be a good neighbor this week. I pray God's blessings of peace and grace upon you and your family. 
Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and to love your neighbor. Amen.